I graduated from high school over 25 years ago, which, yes, makes me old. But when I did, I wanted to do everything the right way. So I graduated from high school. I went directly into college. I went to Michigan Technological University, and I was going to be an engineer. Now, the reason I was going to be an engineer is because they made good money, and also because if you wanted to go into a computer-related field, the only option was computer science, and that just meant C++ programming. I didn't want to do that, so I thought, well, I'll be an engineer. Well, it turns out that I actually skipped all of my engineering classes and hung out in the computer lab, and it was the most expensive internship I, I can even imagine. So I don't recommend doing it that way, but it really pointed out a, a fact that is vital if you're going into the field or you're currently in the field is that things constantly change. Now, one of the questions that I often get asked is, Sean, you know, should I go for uh, a certification or should I think more about just improving my skills? And, and while that seems like a good question, there's so much more to it than just those two options. Okay, so I have our little DevOps guy here because DevOps is like the combination of two worlds, developers and operations people, or, you know, developers, programmers, and system administrators, however you want to think about them. But there's so many more aspects to how to get educated and what is the proper way. Let's say you want to delve into certifications, right? There are certifications for Linux. There are certifications specific to Windows or other Microsoft products like MySQL, stuff like that. You can get very, very specific certifications in things like Docker, Chef, Puppet, AWS. There's all sorts of certifications that will put letters after your name. And if you are doing something like trying to get a job or you want to advance in your current job and getting certifications will do that, by all means, take these certification exams and get those letters behind your name to improve your life. Let's say, though, you don't necessarily care about the certifications. You just want some skill improvements because you've been doing your job for a while, but there's always going to be new versions. There's always going to be new tools. Maybe you've forgotten something you haven't used in a while, so you need a refresher. And especially in the world of security, right? Every tool is going to have security updates and things you're going to have to be aware of. So maybe you want to learn about these different topics, even though your goal is only for school skill improvement. That's perfectly fine. Let's say you're just starting out and you want to go to college or you're changing your career and you think, you know, just like you, Sean, I want to do the quote unquote right thing. I want to go to college. Uh, you could do something like get a computer science degree, get a development degree. There are other options in colleges than when I was back in school, you know, in 1994. Uh, there's network engineering. You could get a business degree that might actually help you on your way towards an IT career that is very beneficial to you. Something about college, though, is that there are slower updates. I don't recommend going into a college and taking a security course unless it's just conceptual because it's going to be outdated so darn quickly. And here really is my ultimate point. If you are in a place where you want to either improve your life by getting certifications, improve your skills by, you know, taking those same sorts of classes that would get you certified, but you just want to get better at the skills, or even you want to learn a skill to, you know, add on to a degree, add those kind of letters after your name, the key to it all is going to be continuing education. We need to be lifelong learners, whether it's to advance our jobs, to get raised, or just staying up to date in our current job. We need to learn the new tools because it's going to make our lives better regardless of what avenue of betterment you're hoping to go to. DevOps is the perfect place for you to learn those skills that are listed here regardless of why you want to do that. People literally ask me all the time, Sean, should I get certified or should I just learn? And I frustratingly answer them, Yes, you should either try to get certified or just learn. The point is to learn and apply that to your individual situation so that you can better your life and you can remain that lifelong learner. Get into the habit of learning because that's what's going to make you an effective IT person and it's going to make you employable and useful to whatever career you end up.